Hey guys, hope everybody's having a good Sunday morning here. Gonna kind of go over a quick setup using another digital program and V3. Again, I will be using the alpha release. Again, this is the alpha release of V3 for Sun Expert Electronics SDR radios. Uh, this is going to be V3 0.8.1. Again, stressing this is an alpha. Lots of functionality is not there yet. But um, wanted to kind of go over setting up and using another digital program, MSHV, um, which is, um, let's go over that screen which is uh, written by Christo, uh, Lima Zulu 2 Hotel Victor, um, who's uh, developing this. And a uh, really nice digital program, uh, very multi-moded. I'm using uh, version 2.58. This is a 64-bit <clears throat> version uh, for my Windows 64. There are a few things in here that do not work under TCI. Um... And I think if you hover over some of these, it'll tell you are in one of the setup fields that tells you. Um, I do know that FT8 and FT4 work. Um, I, I believe it's uh, some of the VHF stuff. Um, it might be uh, MSK144. Um, and I think the ISCAT modes and possibly, I can't remember, there's something else. Anyways, the problem with that is, TCI currently in its state, in its current state version 1.5, which is what they're using in V3 so far, um, this has to do with the um, frequency uh, that TCI uses for passing audio streams. These, the one, the MSK 144, uh, MSK 441, um, and the ISCAP modes are really looking for a 4400 kilohertz uh, audio signal and TCI currently does not do 4400 kilohertz so that's not going to work at the current state now I don't know if that's going to change in the future or not um, hopefully it does if not you know it, it not all is lost you can use um, you can still do the rig control transmit receive band stuff through TCI and, and then use uh, a VAC uh, when you go to those modes um, just use a virtual audio cable um, for your for your sound input and output when you go to those modes and and you'll be fine. So, with that said, um, let's go into um, sound settings. Uh, and here you're going to choose your TCI output. I did bump my buffers down. I think the default one here was 600, if I remember right. I dumped mine down to 400, which is as low as Christo has it set right now. Um, your TCI input. Uh, same thing for your input device. I did bump that one down again um, to uh, the minimum amounts here. Um, I've got a pretty quick PC that was I built uh, several years ago. Well, not several years. It was actually built last year and, and upgraded here recently. So uh, <clears throat> all is fine there. Uh, Eight-core processor and uh, 4.2 gigahertz, um, all using um, solid-state uh, M2 devices and 32 gig of RAM, so no problem with that stuff. Um, so that's uh, that's your sound settings page. Oops. Your interface control. Again, in V3, make sure that you change your TCI interface. Make sure you change this to 40001. The default in V3 is 50001. And that won't connect to a lot of these programs. So do make sure you change that. Um, let's get back up to bring this back up. Sorry. Um, again, your local host is going to be your loopback 127.0.0.1, which is your loopback IP address of your internal network card for your PC. Or you can do local host. Um, again, your port number, make sure you put this in 400001. And um, according to Christo, you want to use uh, PTT via cat command. Um, the default uh, uh, frequency um, by pressing the little F button down here, the little F button down here uh, will change you to the default frequency for that band. Um, also, he is suggesting to use the selected constant TX audio frequency for FT8 and FT4. Um, 
this will keep things from spiking around a little bit in here. Um, you'll have a, a cleaner signal. Um, I did see that on my pan adapter, and I saw that with a couple other guys that um, that he was referring to in a, in a couple of the um, uh, form messages. So that uh, that does certainly help with that. Now, one thing I will note that I noticed right away when you go into um, well TX mode is that up here underneath your TX settings, um, no, this is going to be on your default, whatever you have, mic one, mic two, whatever. When you go into any application that uses a TCI protocol interface for transmitting audio, this will actually, in V3, and I've, this, I've only noticed this in V3, this will actually change to say TCI. It only does it when it is in TX mode. It, you cannot adjust this while it's in receive mode. So obviously you, you need to make sure you're in transmit mode and you may need to adjust the slider here to bring your gain levels up or down to get to that 0.0, .0 uh, dBm on your mic scale. And uh, I'll show you where that's at. I'll show you where that's at in here. Um, I think I bumped mine to 1.5. Uh, so just, just a little bit shy of where it really needed to be, but... You know, um, that's that's a few watts. I'm not sure exactly how many watts that is, but it's a few. Uh, the signal still was very clean uh, with the suns. So, um, you know, when you bump it up to the 1.5 or you get yourself set at zero, the signal is still very, very clean. All right. Uh, there was another couple settings in here. Oh, your macro settings. Um, you know, make sure you get yourself on the right regions. Uh, this does have the ability to... Do you like field day messages and, um, you know, a few other, um, a few other contests, which is really nice, um, you know, for your exchanges, you can, you can put those in here. Um, this is where you're going to put your call, your, you know, grid locators, um, all this stuff I've left at default for right now. Uh, let's see. Duh -duh. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much it for that page. And uh, let's see, there was something else. I thought there was something else I changed in here. Oh, okay. So if you want to do uh, PSK reporting, um, you're going to want to enable this. Uh, the PSK reporter sp spotting. If you're logging to a logbook, lately I've been playing around with LogHX. They've been keeping that very updated for V3. It seems to work very, very well. Um, I've run into a couple little instances with Swiss Log. So currently I'm not using that. I really love Swiss Log, but until that gets straightened out with some of the V3 stuff, um, I've been using LogHX. And you're going to make sure that you, you know, again, put your server in here, your EDP port so that it actually sends the call sign to uh, LogHX and, um, you know, you get your, um, when you when you do your final 73, that it'll actually log that in LogHX. One thing I will note, and I'll do another video using LogHX, any digital program that you use in LogHX, you actually need to start from LogHX. There's a there's a spot in there where you can actually start that digital mode um, from that program. You need to do that in order for it to pick up the transfer of the call signs, the 73s, the loggings, um, all that stuff. If you start this from, you know, its application and you've already got LogHX running, it's not going to work most of the time. You actually have to start that from LogHX. Again, that's another video. We'll do that maybe later on this week. Um, so that should be pretty much it on that page then. All right, so let's, uh, let's unmute this, and we'll watch for a few of these guys and see if we can maybe grab somebody. Hopefully, uh, make sure we got audio. Okay, we got audio. All right. Grab the next round here. Sorry if there's a little echo with the audio in the background. Uh, the mic might be picking up the um, the sound files here from the digital software. So, apologize for that. I 
really seen anything that I'm really interested in, but we'll just grab somebody, I guess, on the next one just for the heck of it as a test so I can show you where this gets adjusted. All right, here, let's try this guy. Oops. All right, so double click, initiates the transmit. Uh, again, up here, look, TCI. Um, 0, 0.0 actually might be a little hot. Let's bring this down. Whoops, there's minus three. Okay, I guess I was right. We'll grab this again. <clears throat> again, when it goes into receive, you're going to go back to whatever mic input you have set as default. So when it goes in the transmit mode, this is where you're going to adjust your gain structure for your TX output. All right, so I'm at minus 0 0.3. It's probably really close. Let's go up. One okay, 0, 0.0. That's right on it. Um, that's what I thought. 1.5. By default, I think this is at 0, 0.0 or 0, um, 0, 0 dB here on the when you go into TX. So just bump this up. You're gonna want to switch your TX meter to mic meter, obviously, um, so that you can see where you're at here. Let me bring this guy back up. All right, he's working somebody else. I need to halt this. All right. We'll try to grab somebody else here. This is a test. Should have looked to see how much power I was actually running here, too. Great start. How much power am I? Yeah, 37, 30, 39 watts. Might need to bump that up a little bit. 140. I'm not sure what kind of shape the band's in. Let's bump this up a little. Come up a little bit here. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> it's not bad. 42 watts now, so I'm not going to change a whole lot. It must be in fairly decent shape. 40 meters. You're from Ohio in the U.S. Uh, to a VK. 40. It did not start log A checks, by the way. So, Alright, so that's confirmed. <clears throat> Alright. Um... Let's see. I think that pretty much goes over most of this. Um, we'll send our final 73 here. All right. All right, so that's, um, again, we'll make sure that... Uh, I tried to grab this guy earlier. Let's see if we can grab this guy today. be a nice contact <clears throat> try them once or twice if it doesn't work I'm gonna move on and close this video out so let's try it no so all right call him one more time give it a go what the heck Really should probably bump that power output up more for that, but hey, we'll give it a whirl and see what happens. No, so let's stop this guy. All right, so let me move off to another frequency here. I don't want to QRM anybody. Um, you can, okay, so put this in mic meter mode in V3. Again, and receive, you're going to be in your default, whatever I, you know, like I have mic 2 as my default. If you click tune here, um, you can you can go to, um, whoops. Let's move up here a little bit. I'm on. Where am I at? Oh, it's still trying to. All right, 
So if you go to tune mode, you can make sure this is in TCI. Again, you're looking for 0.0, .0 uh, dB on the mic meter. Um, by default, I think this was a little less than that. Let's put this back here. Let me go. Touchy. <laughs> oh, now I've just hosed myself on my mic too. This was at 20. Shoot, I'm gonna have to go back and look. I think I had this at 28. Okay. Make sure I'm not on this guy's frequency. Okay, yeah, I moved up enough. Um, so, yeah, see, you're really low here. Um, 1.5, get you. That's minus 1.5. So I boosted it to positive 1.5 to get me close to that 0, 0 0.0 on the mic level. So I hope that helps, um, and uh, have fun with this software. Really nice software. Thanks, Christo. Really nice. Doing a great job with it. All right. This is N8SDR. Hope everybody has a good uh, start to their week here. Happy Sunday to you, and uh, we'll try to do another video here later on, uh, maybe today or uh, possibly tomorrow, and kind of go over log HX. So 7-3. Again, have a great day.